Here's a great example of something that the SAD, SAT does constantly, and you've gotta have the same kind of reaction to a question like this. They're giving you a weird situation, they're telling you to come up with an equation for it, it's a hard question, right? We're at 19 out of 22. You should not be trying to come up with this equation just by reading the story. It's telling you about painting a room. Paint a room. Come up with a room that makes sense for you to paint using these rules, okay? We're gonna arithmetize by making up a room. So one gallon of paint will cover 220 square feet of a surface. A room has a total wall area of W square feet. Why don't we just make W 220, right? So it's a room that has 220 feet squared of space, right? This is my wall in my room, okay? Um, which equation represents the total amount of paint, P, in gallons needed to paint the walls of the room twice. So that's that's a weird little thing that they're kind of sneaking at the end, right? So if we have to paint it twice, then we need two gallons of paint, right? Because if one gallon covers the 220, then we need two. So times two equals two gallons of paint. So basically we painted a hypothetical room and what it's giving us is a point that we can then plug into these equations that we're given, right? So the W is 220 and the P is two, right? So though that's my point, and that kind of gets us back to my favorite equation, uh, my favorite strategy: plug points into equations. So arithmetize is a version of plug points into equations, but it really only applies when we are kind of given equations, but not points. It usually happens when we have this story and it's hypothetical. Stop making it hypothetical. Don't think about it conceptually. Pick up a value and and test it out. So let's see if our point is gonna help us with these, equa uh, these equations. So in choice A, we would plug in two for P and 220 for W. So two is equal to 220 over 110. Well, that's true, right? Now that doesn't mean that that's the answer. We have to double check. Maybe multiple equations are gonna work here, so we gotta be careful. But let's see, two is equal to 440 times 220. Well, I don't even need the calculator. I know that 440 times 220 is huge. So this doesn't make any sense. This equation is, is broken. So let's look at C. So that's 2 is equal to 220 over 220. So that's close. And I see why people might pick that if they were thinking about it conceptually, right? That This is basically for people who miss that we need to paint the room twice, right? So it's ignoring that concept. But right now we see that it doesn't fit, right? It's 220 over 220 is 1. So 2 does not equal 1. doesn't work. And here we have the same problem as in B, 220 times 220 is still a really huge number. So that's it, it's A. And maybe, maybe you would have just gotten that by thinking it through hypothetically, maybe. But I think that even if the chance of a mistake is going from 3% uh, in the your case of thinking about it hypothetically, versus 1% in my case of thinking about an actual room, that one to three, that's a big swing. And over the long haul of the SAT, that can matter, especially if you're shooting for a top score. You don't wanna get this wrong because you just kind of forgot to think about something that would have made so much sense if you just followed the story in a concrete way. The, the best way I can put it, just to kind of wrap up why this is so important, this arithmetic strategy, is in real life we do math all the time. But we don't make equations, right? If your friend said, hey, can you come over? I need to paint my, my living room. We need to buy some number of gallons of paint. You're not thinking about an equation. You're measuring the square foot footage of the, of the space. You are going to then divide that by whatever the gallons, the paint can says. And so you're just gonna get an actual number. So arithmetize is letting us take these hypothetical situations and bring them back to the real world where math makes sense. We don't do algebra in our daily lives, but we do arithmetic all the time. So arithmetize is like a magic spell that just lets us turn algebra into arithmetic so we can understand it better. It's an important way to think to avoid traps on the SAT.